Hello everybody, my name is Speaking Fire and welcome to my let's play of Pokemon White. Now this in this episode, we will head into this cave and get back back that kidnapped Pokemon. First, we will try to catch two of the Pokemons in this cave that we can get for now. Um, let's go in with Charon and instead of helping him beat beat up those guys, we're gonna get some Pokemons first. And up up first up yeah. Up first is this guy. This is Koromori. He is the obligatory bat Pokemon in Generation 5. Um, he evolves using happiness, kind of like Zub um, Golbat. But unlike those um, Zubat's evolution, he's not that great. I mean, it's psychic flying, but meh. You could you could do better with other Pokemon. But if you want if you want a bat Pokemon, then be my guest. Use it if you want. Um, yeah, nothing much. Nothing great about this guy. I mean, unless you use um, the its ability simple, and since it does learn amnesia and calm mind, and uh, simple doubles the effects of the status status effects uh, status changing moves, it could be probably become threatening. But man, I'm not gonna use it. So yeah, it clings to cavern walls with suction from its nostrils and sleeps there. A heart shaped is left. Where it is arched or anchored, I cannot read. I cannot talk. What can I do? Anyway, Koromori goes to our, to our box, and we just uh. Anyway, there we go. I'm gonna start skipping some random battles that does like this doesn't add into anything. Anyway, let's fight these guys. That emblem is really cool. Um, another plasma grunt. And it's a Minizumi, yay! Yay! Yeah, I'm getting tired of fighting these guys. Um, it's gonna use Bide. So it's a good thing I use Focus Focus Energy. Um, I don't really know why their Pokemon are level 12. Shouldn't, like, if you're taking over stuff, shouldn't they be stronger? Like, seriously, little kids can beat you. There's no reason to, like, try to take over the world. Actually, they're not taking over the world. Nobody wants that. Actually, hmm. that would be great. anyway, let's let's hate this mini zoomy even more. And after this guy, after this water gun, it should die. That five won't do anything, and it didn't crit. That would have been a great time to crit. Oh well, this is so annoying. Why didn't it crit? <laughs> oh well, now that that's over, we can continue. La la la, we will take over the world. And there's two more. Isn't that great? But this is the cool part. We'll actually fight fight them with Charon. So it's a double battle using my Washawat with his Snivy. What's worse than one Minizumi? Two Minizumis. <laughs> I, I don't I don't really know why I hate them. <laughs> I just don't like them. It's like all of that and one of the other Pokemons here, and you'll see it soon. It's just really, really weird. If you thought Muck was weird to begin with, you're you're gonna love that new Pokemon. Anyway, let's just take that leader. Like it's nothing. It does nothing. And use water gun and just try to destroy one of the minions. There we go. Just stare, staring at you. <laughs> Your eyes are evil. Speaking of staring, um, like it happened to me twice, but it's like I I stare at people, but not because I want to. Because it's mainly because they're right in front of me. I mean, what are you gonna do? You're not just gonna look up or like... I don't know, but if someone's in front of me, I will stare at them. And there's nothing that they can change or stop from doing that, uh, from me doing that. So, and I'll, I'll tell you more about it later. Anyway, um, there we go. Now that those mini zooms are gone, yeah, we'll return Muna. Or yeah, the Muna that they're looking for. And with that, Sharon should leave us alone. Um, we're not gonna follow him yet. We're gonna 
continue exploring this, we're going to use the rappel that um, we found in the last episode and explore this cave for a bit. There's two items here that I want you guys to get. The first one is on this elevated, like, land thing. And if you go to the corner here, you'll get a full heal. And, of course, we're going to get this one. This is TM46, Thief. Um, stealing stuff here is different now. You can't keep it permanently. I found out the hard way. I thought I was going to get a leftover from Sharon's Pokemon, but no. So, yeah, I'm going to teach it to someone la uh, later. Anyway, we'll just talk to these guys. They were blocking it earlier. Like, if you try to go, they'll stop you. And we'll get three heal balls from that little girl. Cool. And now, I'm going to heal for a bit. Actually, no. We're going to come back here because I forgot something. Um, I did say that we're going to get two Pokemons, right? And so there is another Pokemon here that we can get. It's... Um... Let's see. Nah, I'm not... Should I switch it? No, I'm going to switch back. I'll show you. This is why, um... Because I'm not really worried about killing it. And you'll see why. Um... This guy is... If we can find it. Where is it? There we go. Is it? There we go. Dangoro. Um, this is the obligatory rock Pokemon <laughs> in Gen 5. It's like Geodude. Except not as prevalent as Geodude. Um, he's pretty much exact same stats. It's really defensive and offensive. Really slow. Um, it has two other evolutions but it doesn't evolve to its final evolution until you uh, trade it and you saw that um, its ability activated um, sturdy they changed sturdy in the past in, in generation 5 now it acts like a second focus sash it was discovered inside a fissure after a great earthquake 100 years ago it has an energy core inside its body so it's its ability acts like a second or a focus sash so it's kind of kind of interesting if you want if you use graveler in the past games and stuck with graveler then use it if you'd like and yeah i'm gonna go heal for a bit now to that son yay for awesome um editing <clears throat> um we're gonna try to give ixion a chance to fight I'll probably train him um, off camera, but maybe I, I, I'm I'm on the fence about it. Let's see. If, well, let's see if he needs like off camera training. <clears throat> school boy, school boy out. Oh, he has a Shimama too. <laughs> ah, level 13. <coughs> hmm, this might not be good. Let's keep trying. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, about that story. Um, so, like, this guy in my math class was standing in front of me. And so, well, I didn't have anything else to do, so I just stared at him. And, like, he kept looking at me like I was... <laughs> I don't know what to do. And, like, this other, this other girl, I was eating dinner, and I sat on the table. And this girl sat in the other table in front of me. So I stared at her. And eventually she... She told me to stop staring at her, but she's right there. I mean, it's not like, okay, I mean, <laughs> it was just weird. And like, I don't know, there's nothing you can, you can't really stop people to do that. I mean, especially if you're right there in front of them. But anyway, enough about that. Um, let's try to destroy this Shimama with, eh, it's not really doing anything. I think I'm... I just realized that um, this Baopu has a really bad special attack because of its nature. So I might I, I'll I'll teach this guy um, thief instead, like in a in a bit. So he'll probably get stronger, but I'll keep incinerate just in case. But yeah, I'm gonna change that. So let's this should kill it. I mean, two years should be enough, and it's dead. Yes. Ha. Um, 100 experience, and that's a lot of experience for Exion. Um, yeah, I'm gonna train it off camera. Anyway, 
let's come back here and there's an item there but first I'm gonna show you something Sharon again oh it's ahead of me um this is the introduction of um dark tall grasses um let me get this item first Woo, antidote no Pokemon has poisoned me yet though ah none of that son um Let's do this. There, go to the dark, tall grass. No, fight them. No, there you go. <laughs> um, this is the introduction of dark, tall grasses. There, you can battle two Pokemon here at the same time. They're also stronger and um, a lot rarer sometimes. So, yeah. Um, as you can see, Ixion's about to die, and I should have seen this coming, but meh, I forgot. <laughs> Let's see. Water gun. And I'm gonna die. Actually, even if I did kill that. Yeah, even if I killed that Pokemon, it, it was still. He would have still died. That's too bad. Um, I'm probably skipped to the end of this. Be back in a bit. Yeah, I just completely skipped that. And I'll go over what that is later, but this. Another battle. Um. We're almost at the end here, but I'll show you guys this because I know it's a few. Yes, this battle. After this battle, my um, Zanki will evolve. So let's just see it. It does evolve at level 17, not 16. And let's try it. Water gun. Assurance. No. There you go. I, I don't really, I guess that bat has no eyes, I'm guessing, hopefully. Then again, Zubat also didn't have eyes. Mwah. Drown it, eat it water, make it drink water. Um, yeah, we won't be relying on water gun anymore because at level 17, let's see, hang on, now that that's dead, get 200 experience. We're gonna learn Shell Blade. If you didn't know that um, Oshawott's um, shell in front of him can be taken off for as a weapon, so that's what Shell Blade is. And I shouldn't have gotten rid of Tackle. Now I only have water attacks. <clears throat> anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll leave you guys with this evolution. See you guys. See you guys next time. Bye.